What's good, y'all? I'm back with another video. So, um, I am picking up on the energy of someone who is very sexual. You know, um, not a wise energy is dealing with someone immature, playful, sexual, young energy. Um, who probably, you know, don't know what they, didn't know what they wanted at first, but they do now, high priestess. And they starting to see that they want wish fulfillment, marriage, joy, something bigger than what they would expect beyond a sexual level. Because y'all probably would just sleep together and that'd be it. So, they most definitely want um, to be something more, something deeper than what, what the fuck they got with you. They want something much deeper. So, um... Let me get my music together, y'all. Two seconds. But they want something much deeper. This connection or commitment needs more balance or whatever the case, case may be. More patience, more balance. They most definitely feeling you sexually. We can obviously see that. Um, and when I first seen these cards together, immediately I just, I kind of just smile like, what the fuck? You know, I'm picking up on like an immature, immature man and this is the high priestess is intuitive very mature lady nurturing mothering and there's a lot of sexual energy with this knight of wands um almost perhaps like this knight of wands want like i said a deeper commitment than sex. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm also picking up on like keeping it our dirty little secret. Or maybe y'all used to keep this y'all secret. Y'all used to have a sexual relationship on the low. And now y'all just can't hide it anymore. It's like out in the open. Y'all can't hide how deep this connection really is beyond sex it can be much stronger than y'all think it is if y'all use y'all mental mind to have mental state to have sex instead of y'all physical so possibly this young energy is starting to see that you can make a man out of him type shit make him change his ways look at you in a different way instead of sexual or change his playboy ways maybe he's he was uh in different relationships or into one night stands because he is immature and, and young minded so you know the question is he could settle he or she could want to settle down they thinking you could be the woman that they want to settle down with or the man. But I'm picking up on female energy that they want to settle, settle down with. And looking at the temperance card, the temperance card is saying that you most definitely need balance. And patience and uh throughout your life and throughout this relationship. Be calm, cool, and collective. 
let it go, let it flow type shit. And connect with your spirit guides and the universe. That's where you get all your answers from or whatever the case may be. Your intuitive messages, your knowledge, things of that nature raises your vibration and raises you to your higher self and also can raise your relationship to a higher vibration. The commitment may become stronger. Your souls may become much stronger. You may become much spiritual, spiritual in a relationship. So, yeah, that's what I'm uh, picking up on. And then um, Queen of Wands is uh, basically like represents instinct and strength. Very intuitive and like a strong will to connect, very outgoing, an independent, confident woman who will approach this relationship, will bring balance to this relationship and calmness to this relationship. Very encouraging and open minded. And uh, very loyal. So, yeah. Um, and this person never makes you feel like lower than, like superior than you type shit. So, this person is ready to settle down. I'm, I'm picking up on that type of energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh... Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. Then we got Sex Magic, so it probably was some type of little sex spell to keep you there in a relationship. But this person is starting to realize that it's more than that. Y'all used to have a lot of sex. <laughs> Y'all secretly in love with each other. Y'all starting to realize this relationship and this connection is much deeper. Remember I said you're um, very intuitive and you change your vibration or whatever the case may be by going into the universe and getting your answers. This raises your vibration high and your frequency high. You feel what I'm saying? So... It's best to um, go ahead and use your intuition and your angels and your spirit guides is urging you that you need to give more balance to yourself if you haven't already so this relationship can go or this connection can go into the next level. So yeah, and um, self-awareness, you have, have a sense of self-awareness about yourself, and good is going to come, either good or bad is going to come, if you take that next step and leap of faith into this uh, relationship with this energy. talk so yeah so it's like a young younger energy and a older uh energy well, y'all both one could be uh y'all both could be young energy so yeah So I'm getting in. Let me see what else I can pull today. Let's see. So we're going to get some more messages on this connection. 
more messages, clear messages on this connection. More clear messages on this connection. So I'm pretty sure y'all used to go to get rooms to just have sex with each other. But uh, Spirit is saying, you know, it's much deeper than sex. It's much deeper than a physical connection. You feel what I'm saying? Don't look at somebody in a sexual way or a sexual object. You feel what I'm saying? Like, there's going to be a change in this, in the way you think and feel and view this person in a sexual way. You're going to have some type of awakening, spiritual awakening, to show you that it's much deeper than sex. You feel something much stronger for this person than any other person that you've uh, felt. You feel what I'm saying? So maybe you've been meditating or you need to do some meditation to uh, raise your vibration and go within. So you can feel that love from a person 100% and not half love and feel whole. A spiritual connection. And so, yeah. So, yeah. All right. And what was stopping y'all from completely giving each other a hundred percent? Instead of half of each other and not y'all putting y'all whole heart in, it's because of um, blockages and um, y'all was unhealed. That's why uh, the connection wasn't as strong as it was, as it is now. A lot of they came out. Okay, so abundance is coming in. It will be coming in after um, getting past the sexual attraction for one another. The, you are the love of my life, so you stay in the love of your life right into your eyes and you don't even know it because you can see. But uh, further than the sexual or physical, star, beautiful aura. Be patient, take your time. The temperance, what did it say? Patience, calm. Can't nobody make me feel the way you do. So, yeah. Um, this connection is most definitely strong. It's deep. It's uh, compassionate. And like this person, um, Really is feeling you on the soul level now and spiritual level. I'm so into you. Once I see it that, that's what I see first. See it beyond just sexual. You're the one. They know you the one. Time is of the essence. So they know, bro. <laughs> it's destined. It's fate, bro. Keep thinking of you. This person constantly thinks of you now. Now they view you as their soulmate or their twin flame. Or see something bigger than what they thought they could see at first. They want you to uh, reach out to them. And this time, ain't no splitting up, no little petty arguments or none of that extra stuff. They want you to keep in contact. They don't want to never lose contact with you again. So I'm guessing um, they're going to take this forward movement and come to you and let you know that, bruh, I'm feeling you way deeper than I thought I would be feeling you. You feel what I'm saying? So, 
They admire you a lot. They see you as a wife, wifey material. And they feel like no one or nothing is stopping them from getting in the way, not even sex. So, And it says, now your true love is already present, bro. True love ordained from the most high. Marriage. So they see you as, what I say, a wifey material. Marriage. Real talk. Let's see what else we get. Spirit. Hold on, y'all. I gotta fix this music. I cannot. What else we get? Okay, so um we got this uh page of cups. So this also is telling me well this page of cups is telling me that uh Page of Cups is telling me, I'm sorry, y'all, that this uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces wants to make this, because uh, it sees a younger energy, like I said, want to make this opportunity of making a deeper commitment with you, like I was saying. So they uh now have height uh raising or heightened their intuition, been doing some creative thinking or whatever the case may be. And they very innocent and naive and they just ready to take that step with you. <laughs> Cause I can't do nothing but stop uh, I cannot stop smelling. I really can't, so New stage in life and love. New feelings have evolved instead of on a sexual level. They want more than sex. And we got Scorpio too right here, which I already had. Uh, say a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So this, so Scorpios are freaky as fuck. So this Scorpio is about ready to make that step. Their wish fulfillment. They have surrendered to the material realm and things of the material world. And they don't no longer want just sex and unbalance in this relationship. Now they're looking for balance, a deeper connection, wish fulfillment, something that's solid. They, is what they want to offer you. Marriage. I already pulled out the marriage card. So they want to offer you this Scorpio is going to walk the fuck in your life and offer you a new beginning type shit because you've been through this Scorpio put you through hell and back. Y'all been through a lot of shit. So this time they probably stepped up, jumped off the porch, got them new shit coming in and they want to offer you this new beginning with you. They don't want to play no games no more. Real talk, like they sick of the games. They not playing Capricorn uh Aquarius. I mean Capricorn um Capricorn could be involved. And so yeah. They surrender into all the bullshit and they they gonna come after you, bro. Real talk, they gonna try to uh bring um financial stability to your life. 
Real talk. Let's see what else we get. And basically, this Scorpio is like trying to go with the flow type shit. It's saying they ain't trying to overstep their boundaries, overdo it, do too much, do too little. But none of that shit. We got the uh, cherry. So we most definitely um know that uh this cherry is so uh trying to overcome challenges and maintain the control of uh his or her surroundings. So you motherfucker basically uh is making better decision making um decisions in Trying to make better choices in their life. That's exactly what's happening right now. They're trying their best to be a better them, or whatever the case may be. Not just for they self, but um, for you as well. Who's watching? They know they had options. They know you had options or whatever the case may be. But that shit long gone. They not trying to be out there in the streets being this young player energy no motherfucking more. Like they didn't gave up on it. Like they not trying to do no none of that bullshit that they once did before. It's like they on to something better, bro. And they that own the sun better is you. They don't want many options. They know you is where home is. They know the heart want what the heart want. And the heart going to get that. You feel what I'm saying? With this options card. They don't want that, that bullshit no more. But yeah. Uh, there's going to be uh, this person had a spiritual transformation which is causing them to step up so he's starting to learn his uh strength of his uh his will and his mind his willpower in his mind so it's about to be some forward movement that's going to be took. So yeah, that's that's what's going on, bro. I'm fucking playing about what they want. They heart is yearning. They heart want what the heart want. So yeah, be prepared. <laughs> be prepared. Coming near you. Cancer in that car represents Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. <laughs> and it's sitting right here at the bottom. We got Scorpio right here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with the Chariot. And we got the Ace of Swords. So, yeah, um... Looking at this Ace of Swords, this represents uh, that um, indicates that one is about to experience a big breakthrough. And it also indicates that um, it's time for you to seek justice in your conscious mind and your thoughts. Be careful with what you think, feel, and put out into the universe. This is one of the strongest cards that's uh, in the tarot deck. 
It represents doing right. So you have work, woke up to your truth and the reality of who you are and what you want. You start changing and renewing your mind and changing your thought and telling yourself, I deserve love. Love is out there. The universe will grant me love. I know I fucked up with this person time after time after time and time again. But this time, I'm not, I know I said it before, this time is going to be right. You feel what I'm saying? And you fight for what you want. And what you desire in life. You feel what I'm saying? And you know that this is exactly what you want. You've been wanting it for a long time. You might have had some issues in the past. Maybe um, you had to grow up fast or was forced to grow up fast. Or maybe you had some problem or some childhood trauma or some issues with your parents. Or didn't have any parents or any guidance or any role models. And you had to go to the streets and look outside of yourself. To find everything which was inside of you the whole time. And now they realize that, okay, I didn't got all this inside of me. Now I'm ready to prepare and give all of me my whole heart. Not just sex. Not just take from people materialistically and set people up and cause chaos and conflict or whatever the case may be. I'm going to manifest good and nothing but good is going to come to me. You feel what I'm saying? So it's time for this breakthrough. And I'm going to go after the love of my life. I've been wanting this woman or man or whatever the case may be. Take what resonate. And now it's the time. Time don't wait on nobody. You're going to remain on top. Real talk. Um, it's going to be a long-term uh, commitment. And you're going to take advantage of this love and this situation. That you want or is going after or is headed towards or is coming towards you. You start to, instead of, now this came out in reverse, instead of you putting out evil and demonic energy and getting it back, you're manifesting good, love, you're opening up your heart chakra, you're learning to heal if you haven't already, you're trying to heal, it's going to continue to heal, you're not letting no uh, situations or sex stop you or materialistic things stop you or the streets or drugs or anything. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you're not, you're done with all the player energy, like I said, the fussing and fighting, petty arguments, the insecurity. You're trying to level up and mature. You feel what I'm saying? And um, you refuse to let anything negative stop you this time. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So for you to also gain a better connection, your spirit guides and ancestors is telling you that um, you must learn to embrace change when it comes to these relationships. Not everything is going to look like what you had before, what you had in your, pa your past. Our relationships are different. You can't look at other people's relationship on the outside looking in thinking a relationship should look this way or I should treat a person this way because so-and-so, so-and-so is doing this this way. You feel what I'm saying? Have your own mind. Like, open up to change. Don't be afraid of change. Like, real talk. And I don't know if this person left you or you going and and they just fed up with your bullshit, Scorpio, uh, Cancer, Pisces, or whatever the case may be. But it's destined for us to be together, come back. So uh, this person wants you to come back. or And if you don't come back, they're going to come after you. Forgive me, please. I know you ain't going to forget what I've done or what we've been through. But please forgive me for all the bullshit, all the chaos, all the stalking, all the calling every five minutes, all the trying to keep me from my family and keep me codependent on you or you codependent on me. All the taking from me and not adding asset or a liability to the relationship. This person is trying their best. It's 2022 and they like, I'm not going to be alone. I'm going to be with the love of my life. And um, if something leaves and it come back, you know that it's most des destined for y'all or for you to be together type shit. 
They want you to know that, no, this was not a lesson. This was ordained. I just didn't know any better is what they feel me. So they went through the dark night of the soul, bro, and they tired of that shit. They woke up. They know what they want. They want to come back, reconcile. <clears throat> I was at a fork in the road, but I will always come back to you. They always leave and come back for whatever reasons, whether it's to go find somebody else or whatever the case may be. I don't want to be in the friend zone anymore. So maybe y'all got into an altercation or some type of situation or disagreement. And this person was probably controlling, possessive, obsessive, crazy. Will probably put sugar in your tank, bust the windows out your car, fuck your vehicle up, do all types of shit. Just to prove they love because this is the only way they knew. This is how they act out and was able to show love. We ain't fussing, fighting, and beating each other ass, arguing back and forth on social media, calling each other back and forth, hanging up, stalking, doing all this shit. Where you at? Where you at? Who you fucking all that? Who you screwing? If it ain't looking like that, it don't look right. They didn't know no better. They don't want to uh, be friends or be apart. They going to come closer to you, move closer to you. And it's up to you to use your spirit of discernment to realize if this person is really changed or not. You feel what I'm saying? Destined partnership. So this could be destined or not. It all depends on your situation and circumstances. So they're going to come to you. Damn, I can't believe you're here with me. We're a motherfucking power couple. So this person feel like you they are y'all are a power couple. They both feel like this person feel like both of y'all deserve love. And they saying they fucked up that they missed a shot, man. They know they, they always keep saying they sorry, but this time they not playing. It's something different. I had to focus on myself and have time to heal and figure out what I want and start stop acting out like a child and stop just worrying about sex. It was just sexual and drugs and us chilling, laid up, nothing more, none less. Didn't have nothing to offer, would never give you much. Holidays, celebration, birthdays, Christmases, you would be empty handed, steady giving this person, steady taking, taking, take. This time they want to offer and give to you. Listen to your intuition. Release and let go and decide if this really what you want. That's something you have to decide when they come back in. They want a family with you. If uh they don't want a family with you, um, y'all already have a family and you just totally ghost them and they want you back. And they say this is solid. You ain't got to look nowhere else. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, let's see what this lover did. This lover, y'all used to argue a lot. Um, this person will probably contact your family members. They say karmic family. Contact your family members. We got lesson learned. To be, look for you or stalk you type shit. You will leave this person on red or just don't respond at all to them. Um, this is what happened in the relationship. There was a lot of um, chaos and conflict. They cheated. You cheated. Y'all both had pro possibly cheated. And there wasn't no connection at first. And then there was also jealous friends and family members who was hoping and praying that this connection would not pos possibly work. They apologize for everything that they done. Like they had a spiritual awakening. Y'all used to just uh, chill and get high type shit. Because if we got drugs and we got uh, narcissists, they was in narcissists, energy, immature, <clears throat> get so immature and want to bring other people into y'all sex life or relationship. That's how freaky they was or jealous of your friends or family. And they'd be like, well, well, how about we, we all just sleep together type shit or you fucking that person. They could have been accused you of being involved in threesomes or fucking other people. Went to your phone and saying something. Y'all do a lot of fighting and fussing and arguing. Y'all was in this relationship in 2021 or the time 2021 is significant that might come up during or after watching this video. 
2022 is the year that they're going to come in and possibly, uh, they say, uh, it says, I deserve true love and happiness and possibly offer you true love and happiness and this fresh new start. You feel what I'm saying? Because they, uh, unhappy and miserable from the way they did you. Um, you most definitely did part ways from this person, but they most definitely going to be big and back coming back. There was also when we got karmic family, we, there was also a father involved in y'all connection that was stagnant. And, you know, he was in the middle of y'all connection type shit. Um, and the partner or your partner used to call and um, ask about uh, you type shit. Like, what, what this person doing? Why they answering? Text, tell them, text me back. This person suffered a mental illness. They did uh, envy you, possibly your, your family or was jealous of your family or your connections or the fact that you had a pure heart of gold. They didn't expect that because they never received that. So they didn't know how to take all that in. So they misused you and mis, uh, abused you and talked down to you and preyed on your emotions and took advantage of you and your finances. Or whatever the case may be. They just use you to get by every now and then or whatever if they needed you. Shit. They got a cousin that's located or that lives um, near them that they run to when things go bad. Or whatever the case may be. Um, they used to just do evil shit or say evil shit about you. Type shit. Maybe your brother disliked your lover, or you had a brother who disliked your lover. It says, connect with nature and go inward. Pray, meditate, talk to the Most High. Yes, some fake family members and friends who uh, wanted this connection to shit, possibly not make it. Or was hoping that it don't make make it or whatever. Or people used to sit up here and tell you, you need to leave this person or whatever the case may be. But a person can't tell you what to leave and they don't know what's going on. They on the outside looking in. They tell you to leave but been through toxic shit with their lover and you wouldn't listen type shit. But you have a heart made of gold and this person know that. That's why they so stuck on you. They was jealous. I told you, jealous of your spirit, your work ethic, um, the fact that you were straight, you will work. They didn't want to work or take care of you, but now they're trying to step shit up. Money spells because they didn't have no money or whatever. They used to take all your money or they drained your bank account dry. They took money from you or stole some money from you. Recently in the past, present, and future energy is something about the time 1221 or uh, the year or if you see 1221 during this video. But yeah, uh, they like I said, it was a wake up call. They had a spiritual awakening at the time a part away from uh, you or whatever the case may be. And they was... Uh, addicted to worldly things and material shit and devilish energy and will stalk you all your social media will hit you up on every social media website you will block them on one they'll create another account and hit you up on another uh website that's how much in love they were they even threw salt on your name and gossiped this lover but they changed they letting you know uh -uh, i'm not like that I'm not like that anymore. I'm not controlling anymore. I don't want to play no more mind games with you anymore. I'm not going to project all that evil and dark energy on you anymore. I have changed. I've changed. I don't watch porn or addicted to uh, ass or fetishes anymore. I don't look at other women. I'm going inward. I don't have an attraction just to you sexually anymore. It's a deep connection. I'm not going to be in secret competition with you and your friends or your family member anymore or ask you to pick and choose between me and family or your 
aunties or your sisters or your lovers or your spouses. I'm done with these games or whoever is in your life. I'm not going to have you pick and choose between your grandma <laughs> and your stepsister type shit. You might have thought or felt that this person secretly wanted someone in your family member in your family, but this was just a sexual connection as well as, you know, them just being it being a sexual connection with y'all. Everything was sexual. Don't forget men are more sexual and physical. You feel what I'm saying when it comes to the mind? Like they they see things, they visual. My bad. And this is a relation was a relationship. This person isn't stubborn anymore, and they love the shit out of you. They saying it's all love, bro. Like you, the love of my life. You, the lover or the person I'm supposed to spend the rest of my life with. But they had a spiritual awakening, spiritual welfare, spiritual calling, and they went within and started changing and start reading the Bible and. Praying to the Most High and uh, look, paying attention to synchronicity type shit, trusting their intuition and following the angels and then spirit guides and staying positive and prayed up and meditate. And they starting up wanting to bring balance, not just into their own life, but they want to bring balance. What did I say? The temperance bring balance. They want to bring balance to this relationship and to this deeper commitment that they want. They have gave themselves more love. Now they know it's time to most definitely love you. I am strong. It's your, it's uh, time to move on from old patterns and habits and fears. And I'm going to take a chance. I'm done living on fear and judging and projecting. I'm going to take a faith out, a leap of faith out on us. And whether this connection work out or not, you're still going to be protected and divinely guided. And your spirit guides got you. Real talk. But you was feeling exhausted in this relationship. And they was too because they was taking your energy. It take a lot for a motherfucker to take a person who's made a light, they energy type shit. So they not, um, you not um, going to be feeling exhausted anymore is what they saying. They have been following their intuition when it comes to a lot of people, places, and things, and codependent relationships and attachments. They're letting all let go. This person is saying, I will no longer drain you anymore. Take any of your energy from now on. I will continue to give you love. And they're connecting to their higher self. You are protected 100%. So why the angel right there? I tried to hurt you on purpose because I didn't know how to give love or receive it. Yes, I worked with others to do black magic and spells on you. And I lied to you in the past. But please forgive me. Because I was addicted to material things. Getting high and laying up and trying to fuck and take your money. And lying, talking about I, I'm working here, I'm working there the whole time. I got secret addictions and I'm unhealed. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's everything that I'm getting. And this is, I'm going to give some spiritual advice before I go. Give me some spiritual advice. Okay, let go. We got let go of fear. 4343, let go of ego. I never stop loving you. Be patient. I want more time with you. Self talks. Focus on you and inner healing. <clears throat> Just saying 144 too. To receive love, you got to be open to give love. And this person is ready. You the chosen one. So 4411. It's up to you to make that decision and use your spirit or discernment. How much can you take? Don't give up on yourself. This person wants to travel with you. They uh, let go. They have let go of toxic uh, patterns and old habits. Go talk to the most high about this connection. Meditate. Breathe. Light worker chosen. Everything will work out in divine timing.
Go into nature. Let go of anger. Regret. Better to give than receive. Let go of guilt. Take a walk. Pray. You feel what I'm saying? Change the renewal of the mind or outdated thinking. Trust the universe. So everything going to be straight whether you're thinking to stay in this connection or not. Real talk. They don't need no other body. <laughs> Ask your spirit guides for guidance always, always when you lost. Real talk. It says intuition. Listen to your intuition. Breathe and get out of your head. Go with the flow. Blessings are coming in. Blessings are going to be coming in. Follow your into knowing. Intuition. Intuition. That's all I keep seeing. Spirit says, uh, don't second guess anything. Cleanse and make sure you self detox. So, yeah, that's all up to you. It's your decisions, your choices, and your life. And um, I will be back with another video. Y'all have a blessed day.